Thank you, Robert, and thank you very much for inviting me to speak today. Hopefully, you are able to see the screen ahead of you, and I'm just going to move ahead and start talking, if that's okay. So, uh, yeah, my name is Keith Grimes. I'm an NHS general practitioner with an interest in urgent care by background and a passion for technology, and I'm the Clinical Digital Health and Innovation Director at Babylon Health. Just as a by way of a quick introduction of what it is we do... Babylon has a mission statement that we believe it's possible to put an accessible and affordable health service in the hands of every person on earth. Now, clearly, if we're wanting to do this, we're going to have to deal with some issues about scalability and equity of access as well. And the way that we do this is through the use of technology. So at Babylon, what we've done is that we've created a digital-first end-to-end health service delivery model. And our aim is to become this continual point of contact for patients throughout the entire health life cycle. And we do this with essentially three layers. The first layer is that of AI health services, which forms the very center. And this is the key to achieving uh, a scalable solution. Around this, we wrap virtual health services, the ability to do video consultations, for example. And then finally, of course, the ability to augment physical health services as well. So if we put the patients at the very center, how we achieve this is by mapping the journey through sickness and also in wellness to try and help prevent illness. So we start with a patient reporting their symptoms and through a product such as triage, we can identify, help them identify what the condition might be or what the next step for them would be in that particular path. We can give advice on treatment and then rehabilitate them back to their normal state or a new point of chronic disease and help manage their chronic disease going forward. So this represents the bottom part, the sick care side of things, but we also address the well, the healthcare side of things by helping them using our uh, health check, our product, uh, to help assess them and give them an idea about any aspects of their lifestyle that might be contributing towards their risk of different diseases. Through that, they can plan, put together a care plan, and we can help coach them through that care plan and monitor their progress towards achieving the goals to help reduce their risk of further diseases. And as we collect this data, we can help them understand more about themselves and help perhaps predict when they might deteriorate, allowing us to intervene at an earlier point and reduce the cost of the intervention. So as you can see, this is the AI service portion, the bit wrapped around the center. Around this, we put the virtual services, and then further around that, the physical services as well. And in this way, we can use technology to provide healthcare in a scalable way to all people on earth. Now, how we do this, and I describe this, is by using uh, each of these components as tools in a toolkit. And we refer to this as the AI brain or the Babylon brain. It's clearly non-anatomical in this case, but it helps you understand some of the foundational pieces that bring together. So it starts with the knowledge base, and this is this custom-made machine-readable encyclopedia of concepts, which is a registered extension of SNOMED, and it's curated by our clinicians using a custom user, custom user interface used to define all the data that's used within the products in our service. And we're proud to be part of HL7 Fire community, making sure that all this data can be shared across the health ecosystem. This is the foundation. These components are then stored into a single comprehensive source of truths called the comprehensive health record, recording every interaction in a secure store that allows it to this information to be exchanged between the different tools that are used. And this can help with benefit, for example, reducing the amount of questions that we might need to ask when doing symptom checking for patients. Next up, we have perception, and we have natural language processing, a fundamental of artificial intelligence and machine learning with a multilingual understanding of content and the intent of a user's text. Simply put, the ability for them to describe what their symptoms might be in a language that they're happy to use. But this also means remote monitoring, something that's come to the forefront during recent COVID as well, enabling the remote tracking of symptoms, body measurements, and compliance with interventions to help increase the ability to self-care and triage patients as needed. For prediction, we look at health check, I've mentioned already before. It's the way to assess an individual's lifestyle, including their nutrition, their activity, and mood to give practical insights into the risk of 37 different diseases. For condition management, we help with care planning to not only manage long-term conditions like diabetes, but also depression, asthma, and other long-term conditions. And finally, with risk stratification, we can use artificial intelligence and techniques of machine learning with health and demographic data that we've collected to help stratify these populations, establishing which high efficacy interventions will work for those most in need. And then finally, we have the probabilistic graphical model. This is for reasoning and decision making in our triage symptom checker, collecting data on user symptoms and risk factors, and providing information on what the cause might be. 
And this is supplemented by a product called Checkbase, which is a sophisticated decision tree used to create specialist question and logic flows. So a number of tools in our toolkit to help automate and deliver the care of patients, which we're doing already. And all of this information then becomes brought together and presented to the clinician in our clinical portal, allowing them to care for patients remotely. And in this way, we're able to provide care to patients around the world.